Thank you, sir. I appreciate my colleague from LD6, and my point is uh, somewhat similar. Gun violence has once again torn families and communities apart, and this time the Buffalo shooter's own writings indicate racial motivation. Buffalo and then Laguna Hills and Dallas and Houston have left me searching for words. I'm struggling today as a legislator so much of who I am literally is how I move through this world as a result of gun violence. What words are gonna move us together? Words are splintering us. The eyes of our nation have once again turned on Arizona in repugnance over a tweet. Our Senate colleagues will examine the intent, some will argue its meaning, but this tweet has been tied to the notion of false flag operations. Rhetoric like this, is, like this tweet is not mere words. It can and likely will become a brutal attack on the family still reeling with the sudden destruction of everything they thought they knew about the world. That when the people they love go to the grocery store or the flea market or church, those people come home. These families now live in a world where that's not true. These families who are struggling to pan, plan funerals or adjusting to a new unexpected life because of a bullet, now they are being besieged by those who fall for the false flag narrative. For those who don't know what that means, there's a belief that mass casualty events from Sandy Hook to our own shooting in Tucson that directly impacted many of us here, that those are secret operations perpetrated by the government or its power brokers to move our nation in a nefarious direction. Lies like this are not harmless. They inspire and encourage deluded individuals to show up at hospitals and funerals demanding proof. They'll stalk grieving families at the grocery store demanding to know what their role was in this conspiracy. I don't think this I know it to be true. I've been accused of being a crisis actor. The theory is that 18 years ago, my shooting was staged. I'm faking my paralysis and I'm a deep state operative. These lies subject us to threats and brutal intrusions into our lives as we grieve and rebuild from a wound more deep and raw than most can imagine. A tweet can be viewed by hundreds of thousands. 20 seconds. A state senator's opinion, even if debunked, will be believed by too many and will become a call to action that further victimize those living with the already too high costs of gun violence. It is in itself an act of violence. It's repugnant and horrific and that must be time. condemned by every true patriot of our nation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem.